Ever felt the ground shifting beneath your feet? If you have, you know that's definitely not the most pleasant sensation out there. Add some sudden excruciating pain to the mix, and you may start to guess how Jamie Cunningham felt one terribly unlucky day back in 2018. Cunningham had the misfortune to step on an angry stingray, which prompted a rare, absurdly painful attack. The man's injuries were so rare, they needed to be studied. Here's the survival story of Jamie Cunningham. It was December 29, 2018, and Jamie Cunningham was spending a nice day at the beach with his wife Christine and their two teenage sons, Alex and Matthew. It was a beautiful summer day in New Zealand. The sky was blue, the sun was up and shining brightly, and the water was more than inviting. Cunningham and his family weren't the only people at a ready beach that day. New Zealand's many beaches are usually packed with tourists once summer begins in December, and Oredi Beach was no exception to this unwritten rule. Oredi Beach is located only minutes away from Invercargill city center. Invercargill is the southernmost and westernmost city in New Zealand, and overall one of the world's southernmost cities. Oredi Beach is popular with tourists for a plethora of reasons. Those who don't want to sit back, relax, and bask in the sun have plenty of other alternatives. Common beach activities such as swimming, surfing, paddling, and shell collecting are available, but Oredi Beach also has another unique trait. It's one of the only beaches in New Zealand that vehicles are allowed to drive on. That's why many visitors choose motorbiking and four-wheel driving as their favored leisure activities. As you can imagine, the place is a fan favorite among families and daredevils alike. Cunningham and his family weren't daredevils, at least not on that particular Saturday. But this didn't mean they were going to stay idle on the beach. They planned to have fun and enjoy the sun and the water. And what better way to do that than boogie boarding? Boogie boarding, also known as body boarding, is much easier to learn than surfing. That's why many people prefer it and see it as a suitable activity for children, too. Every now and then, Cunningham would get out of the water and give the board to his wife, Christine, so she could also enjoy some quality time with their sons. Everything was perfect. The late December day was hot and the waves were amazing. At one point during the day, Jamie Cunningham decided to get out of the water and swap over with Christine, his wife. In order to do this, he had to leave his sons in the water and proceed toward the beach. Cunningham picked up the board and made his way toward the shore. He could see Christine waiting for him. Each step brought him closer to the beach and out of the water, until one wrong small step that would cost Jamie Cunningham dearly. The man was standing in just 11 inches of water. Nothing to write home about, right? That's what he was probably thinking too, or he wasn't thinking about it at all, caught mid-walking as he was. But then, when Cunningham's right foot made contact with the ground, he felt a sharp pain. It was like something stabbed him. The pain was quick and blinding, and nothing short of excruciating. It felt like the sensation you get when you step on a piece of Lego, and your leg just gives way. At least that's what Cunningham thought. Surprised and definitely confused, Cunningham staggered, making a few uncertain steps, and then it all came crashing down for the 48-year-old father of two. It was like the whole ground shifted beneath him. The man saw something out of the corner of his eye. It was very fast, and it looked like a whip rising to strike him, but there was no time for him to make sense of what he saw. Next thing he knew, the whip-like thing hit him in the ribs under his left arm. But soon enough, it felt like the pain migrated and moved through his body. Jamie Cunningham thought he was going to die. He allowed himself to think about dying for a second. This would be a funny way to go, he thought. No, not funny, but unusual, peculiar. The man gathered his strength and staggered toward the shore, clutching his left side. The shore was so close, and yet so far. When he finally managed to get out of the water and onto the sand, Cunningham collapsed. The pain was excruciating, and it was spreading. It was spreading like venom would. Cunningham's wife Christine saw her husband collapse on the ground and rushed to see what was wrong. 
When the woman saw him clutching his ribs, she asked him what happened. Slowly, between labored breaths, Cunningham moved his hand, revealing an open wound. Cunningham was in a dire state. He couldn't even speak properly. He had to stop after every word and gulp for air. But this didn't stop him from begging his wife and the crowd around them to make sure his children Alex and Matthew were safe. Fortunately, the two boys were unharmed. And luckily enough, Cunningham's horrible state caught the attention of two passers-by who turned out to be off-duty paramedics. Together, they helped dress the wound as well as they could and rang for an ambulance. And that's when everybody finally found out what happened to Jamie Cunningham. He was attacked by a stingray. While stingrays are usually harmless and non-conflictual, they can attack if they're taken by surprise, meaning you're probably going to get stung if you unknowingly step on one. Meanwhile, Cunningham's foot became more and more purple and more swollen too. It took the ambulance some 40 minutes to get to the beach. He was finally rushed to Southland Hospital, but his ordeal didn't end there. Because the stingray's venom was spreading through his body, doctors had to insert a tube into Cunningham and drain his fluids. The man had to be put on heavy medication with assisted breathing because his left lung collapsed. Through it all, Cunningham wasn't worried about the actual wound. He was more worried about the venom, which was causing his diaphragm to lock up. There is no anti-venom for stingray toxins. In fact, not much is known about the venom itself. What we do know is that a stingray sting can cause an array of terrible symptoms. The airways and lungs, the throat, the heart, the skin, the stomach, and the nervous system can all be affected by stingray venom. And symptoms can vary from breathing difficulties to paralysis and heart collapse. Because stingrays rarely attack, Jamie Cunningham's case was studied and included in a medical academic paper written by surgical register Benjamin Black, research fellow Monica Londall, and consultant surgeon Conrad Richter. Very few stingray attacks have been reported in Australasia over the years, and out of these, even fewer have been fatal attacks. The medical article concerning Cunningham's injury also cited a 2018 study. According to this study, as climate change progresses, more and more stingrays will venture into New Zealand waters, and attacks will become more common. Jamie Cunningham tried to stay positive during his whole ordeal. He told reporters he had no idea there were stingrays at Moretti Beach. People keep saying I was lucky, but if I was lucky, I wouldn't have stood on the friggin' thing, he told reporters. The man was able to make a full recovery, and according to him, he got a good pub story out of it and a good scar to prove it. In January 2022, another man, Stuart Sutherland, was stabbed in the leg by a stingray at Oretti Beach, four years after Cunningham's painful experience. 